Hello everyone and welcome. Kendra Morgan here for TLC Designs. It's October and it's time for a new monthly sketch challenge. The TLC Designs online store has been updated with a new product called the Sketch Easy Bundle number 103. This month's bundle includes one digital mini stamp set and a full size coordinating paper pack for only $5. If you're not familiar with the TLC sketch challenges, you don't have to purchase the bundle to enter. There's two ways to win. If you use any TLC Designs product when making your card, follow the sketch and post a photo of it in the TLC Designs creative sharing group on Facebook, which is linked below. You can upload your photo under the TLC Designs Sketch Easy album which is under media, and you can enter to win a free digital stamp set of your choice. Now, if you buy the bundle and use the digital products to enter the challenge, you can have a chance to win the grand prize, which is a free digital stamp set of your choice, plus a $10 gift certificate to the store. Now, anyone can play along and enjoy the sketch, but in order to win, you must use any TLC product, including the freebies. For the third 30-day challenge, beginning October 1st of 2021, the bundle includes the Festive Friends mini digital stamp set, which has this cute koala bear, along with a pile of leaves, plus all of the different types of leaves individually. And it also includes the two sentiments, Happy Fall Y'all and Let the Festivities Begin. The bundle also includes the full set of the delicious digital paper pack, which has 12 different designs. Now the full size Festive Friends digital stamp set is also available for purchase and it has a few more stamps including this penguin and a couple more sentiments. Here is the sketch. It has an oval die cut here in the center plus two rectangle strips where you'll use the pattern paper on top of mats plus a one inch strip in the center underneath that oval die cut. The butterfly rectangle die set is perfect to use with this, but if you don't have this set, you can use any oval shaped die or punch that you have on hand to create the look. There's really a lot that you can do with this sketch, and today I'll be sharing two different fun fold cards. One is a gatefold card and the other is a Z fold card. So let's get started. These are the Festive Friends digital images that I printed out using my laser printer. I made several different sizes of the koala and the sentiments because I wasn't sure which size I wanted to use at this point. I also printed the Happy Fall Y'all sentiments onto some craft paper and this is what I'm going to use for this first card. I'll be using the one here in the top right hand corner because it's a little bit smaller and it fits the best inside of that oval piece there. So here are the different digital papers that you'll receive in the bundle. This time it is a full set. So it has some lovely fall leaves here as well as some other fall patterns. This one is a zigzag pattern. But I did want to mention that this Sketch Easy Bundle is a great value because not only do you get a digital stamp set, but you also get a full set of digital papers. I'll be putting a link to the bundle in the description box below, but when you purchase the bundle, you get access to the files immediately so you can get creative right away, which is awesome. And you have until October 31st to post your photos to be entered to win. I'm also going to be using some basil cardstock from my stash in the colors clay and Irish green. These match these papers perfectly. For this first card, I'll be showing you how I made this gatefold card using the Happy Fall Y'all sentiment on craft paper that I showed you just a second ago. And since I printed the sentiment with my laser printer using toner ink, I'll be able to foil the sentiment with some gold foil. And to do this, I'm using my Heidi Swap Mink Machine. And so I placed that gold foil on top of those sentiments and placed it inside the mink sleeve and ran it through my machine here. And as you can see, I did speed this up. It does go a little bit slower than what you're seeing here. But as you can see, when I remove that foil, it, it has this beautiful gold shine to it now. Now I'm using the oval piece from the butterfly rectangle die set and I've used some mint tape to hold it in place while I ran it through my die cutting machine. And for my card base, I'm using a piece of heavyweight craft colored cardstock that I've cut in half to measure five and a half by eight and a half. 
and I decided to use the pattern paper with the leaves for this first card and the orange card stock for my matte layers. And so I'm going to cut these layers according to the measurements on the sketch. The matte layer should be one and seven eighths by five and a quarter inches. And then the pattern paper should be one and five eighths by five inches. So to make the gatefold card, I'm taking my scoring board and I'm scoring the card base at two and a quarter inches. And then I flipped it over and I'm doing the same on the other side. So when these are folded in, they should line up in the middle. And I've also cut a strip of cardstock for the belly band. Now the sketch shows one inch by nine inch, but since I didn't cut my orange piece of cardstock on the other end, that would allow me to have an 11 inch side to be able to do this. I'm just gonna cut it at one inch by eight and a half inches. And then I'll show you how to make this work by cutting an extra oval die cut for the center here in just a moment. I glued all of the layers down using some Nouveau Deluxe liquid adhesive. And now I'm taking the belly band and wrapping it around the back of my card so that the ends are on the front. And you'll wanna bend it around the edges of the card and leave a little space so this will easily slide on and off the card. And so by cutting additional oval die cuts, we can cover up that gap in the center of the belly band here in, in the front by gluing it on both sides of the, of the ends of the strips. So now I'm adding some glue on the inside pieces of the belly band strip so I can glue this extra oval die cut on the bottom side. And I'm just making sure that I have it centered before I press the glue onto it. Now that that is attached, I'm gonna apply glue to the back side of the die cut with the gold foil on it that will go on the front of the card. And I'm gonna attach it to the piece on the back of the belly band. So now you can't see that gap. So to finish off this card, I've had these fall themed clay embellishments in my stash for a while. And I thought they went perfectly with this paper and the sentiment. I'm gonna glue the two different colored leaves on each end of the oval piece and then add the pumpkin in the top left corner like it shows on the card sketch where the butterfly is. And I'm attaching these pieces using some Gina K Connect liquid glue. And this pretty much finishes off card number one, which is the basic gatefold card. Now for card number two, I'm gonna show you how you can take this same sketch and make it a Z fold card. First, I'm taking the koala and leaf digital images that I printed earlier onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. And I'm gonna color them using my Copic markers. Now, I layered the koala on top of the leaves before I printed it out. And this is what I plan on using as the image on the front of my card. Now I've sped this coloring process up quite a bit but I'm using warm grays for the koala's fur. And I'm adding some shadows with my darkest shade, which is W5. And I'm blend blending that towards the center with the lighter shades. And I'm using W3 and W0 for that. Now I used R20 for the cheeks and inside of his, his ears. And then for the, for the nose, I ended up using N7 and N4. I added some dots with my darker shade to make it look more like fur. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend all of this together using my lighter shades. Now for the leaves, I'm using YG95 and YG91 for the green leaves. And then I'm using E39 and E35 for the brown ones. And then for my orange leaves, I used E97 and E95. And then I ended up adding in some red leaves as well because I thought it needed it. And so I used R89 and R85 for those. And I'm also gonna color the individual leaves that you see here on the right. I'm gonna color those off camera. And then once everything that I am using is colored, I'm going to cut these images out with my brother's scan and cut off camera as well. 
Now for my card base, I'm taking another piece of craft heavyweight cardstock like I used on the first card. And I've cut this down to five and a half by eight and a half inches as well. And I'm scoring it down the middle at four and a quarter inches. And then I'm gonna fold it and then flip it over, open it back up. And then I'm gonna score it at two and an eighth of an inch, which is basically right down the middle of the front of the card. And I'm going to score it on the other side so that I can fold this back, bending it the other way. So technically you have a mountain and then a valley fold, which is what creates the Z, which is where it gets the name from. And I decided to use one of the plain red sheets of pattern paper from the Delicious Paper Pack. And I'm using this as my mat, same as what is shown on this sketch. So I'm going to cut the first two rectangles to measure what's on the sketch, which is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to cut another red map for the inner part of the card, which will measure four by five and a quarter inches. And then for this particular card, I'm using the striped paper here and I'm going to cut the two rectangle strips to measure one and five eighths by five inches, just like the sketch shows. And then the inner piece will measure three and three quarter inches by five inches. Now that I have all of the pieces cut, I need to cut the oval pieces that will lay on top here with half of it being connected to the flap on the left and then the other oval piece that will go on the inside of the card behind it. For the inner oval piece, I'm using the sentiment that says, let the festivities begin. And I've also cut out another plain oval piece out of craft card stock for the front. I also wanted to use the sentiment, happy fall y'all. So I'm fussy cutting this out and I'll be using this next to the koala image that I colored earlier. But since there's not any white in the pattern paper and I'm using craft card stock as my card base, um, I wanted to color all of the white on my images and sentiments, so I used Copic Marker E50 and colored all of the white everywhere. <laughs> so to get rid of the white edges on my pattern paper, I used Ivory Chalk Ink and I ran the edges of the striped pattern paper across the top of the ink pad. And then I used the red chalk ink for the matte pieces. Next, I glued down all of the layers using Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And I made sure that I uh, lined up the striped pieces to make sure they were all facing the right way. And then to make that craft oval piece a little bit stronger, I did cut out two additional die cuts and glued those together. Since this piece will be hanging out on, on its own on the right hand side of the front of the card. To keep the little decorative pieces inside the ivory inside oval piece, I added some mint tape to the back and then I took the little decorative pieces from the corners of the craft oval piece and I glued them onto the ivory corners. Here I'm just trying to center the ovals onto the front of the card so I can make sure I glue them down one right on top of the other and to hide the inner oval piece when the card is closed. I marked the halfway point with my pencil so that I would know where to apply the glue because you only want to apply glue to half of this piece. And then I glued the center piece down. Sorry for my head getting in the way there. And then next I glued down the koala and then the sentiment on the front oval. And because the koala sticks up higher than the oval piece. I moved him to the left hand side of the card since you could see the Copic markers through the back. Next, I placed down all of the individual leaves on the inside of the card and then glued those down. Now, at first, I added the foam squares to the back of the Happy Fall Y'all sentiment on the front, but then I changed my mind and removed the foam squares later and just decided to glue it down flat. And then to finish off the card, I added some dark red glitter enamel dots to the corners of the oval pieces on the front, and then a smaller dot for the exclamation point on the sentiment of the inside oval piece.
Now to help this card stay closed, I used a removable glue dot that I rolled over onto itself to add to the decorative corner on the right hand side. Now when the recipient opens this card, it will reveal the hidden oval and the sentiment, plus they'll be able to display this card easily. One thing I wanted to mention about this gatefold card here, and I wish that I had thought of this before I made the card, but would be to print the sentiment directly onto the center of the card base before scoring it and all that good stuff. So I think both of these cards turned out really cute. I love this bundle. I hope you like these cards. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to join the TLC Designs Creative Sharing Group on Facebook if you're not already a member. The link is in the description box below. And again, you have until October 31st to post your photos to enter the challenge. The winner will be announced in the Facebook group, so make sure to join that group and turn on the notifications. I look forward to seeing what you all create. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.